One of the most inspiring things about starting a business is that you get to work with people that you love working with. At least that's what we hope is going to happen. When you start working for people who you're not inspired to work for, the quality of your work goes down. We all deserve to be able to work with the people who inspire us the most. Take a look at the people that you've worked for and isolate the characteristics of the people who inspire you the most. Who are the people that you gave the best result to, that you had the most fun working with, and that you enjoyed every step of the process? Those are the characteristics that you should be searching for when you're looking for new clients, because we all deserve to work with the people who inspire us the most. For those of you who don't know me, it's Chris Prouty, and for the last 21 years, I have helped thousands of entrepreneurs and experts wildly grow their businesses by figuring out who their perfect clients are and getting more of those perfect clients into their businesses. But I don't do it in a way that you might think. And if you're new to my channel, now would be a genius time to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so that you get alerts every time I create new content just like this. And I was having a conversation with someone today about the perfect, their perfect audience, their perfect prospects who could turn into their perfect clients. And we talked about some of the strategies for getting those people into their list of clients. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. But before I get to that, if you are serious about growing your business and you want a step-by-step -step strategy that will teach you what you need to do to get people from, becoming a, from being a stranger to becoming a client, I want you to go to proudyclass.com and sign up for my free workshop. In that workshop, I'm going to show you evidence that social media works incredibly well for building businesses. We're gonna talk about the misconceptions that exist in using social media to attract clients to you. And then I'm gonna show you the strategy that I use and I've talked to thousands of people. Just go to proudyclass.com and sign up for that. My clients come to me because they are inspired to deliver a product or service to their market. And they took the step, they took all of the risk in becoming an entrepreneur so that they could work with the people who inspire them the most. And that's what I help them do, is attract that perfect client to their business. So they do a better job, they have better results, and they have happier, more balanced lives. So let's talk about your perfect clients, your perfect prospects, and what you can do to make sure that you're always receiving an abundant flow of those people. And it really comes down to three things. And this works on any social platform, or this even works if you're doing networking in person or on Zoom. And the first thing that I would like you to do is identify and isolate the characteristics of the people that you love working with. We are not talking about a customer avatar here and we're not talking about niching down. We're talking about the psychological, psychographical characteristics, personality characteristics of the people that you're inspired to work with. I want you to figure out what those are. I'm so inspired to work with entrepreneurs because they have this drive to move forward and they want control over their future. And those are some of the characteristics that I love in the people that I work with. These are people that know that they can have an effect on their destiny and that they can have impact and legacy. And when I work with those kind of people, I always bring my best. So figure out who that is. That's step number one. Step number two is creating content that speaks to that exact person. So that when that person is going through social media and they're reading that content, they feel like you're writing to them. And by the way, if you are curious about what it's like to create that kind of content, it's one of the things that I talk about in proudyclass.com. So if you go there and sign up for this class, first of all, you're gonna see that I have a ton of fun teaching it. There's so much more I can do there than I can do in these short videos. And you're gonna learn about the process of creating content that attracts your perfect client to you. And then the third key to working with and finding that perfect client is making sure that you are interacting with them online. You're gonna be creating content that gets them coming to you 
And so it would make sense for you to spend the time in a human to human way interacting with them. And when you do that, that relationship is developed well in advance of the sale. And if you'd like to see what it's like or learn what it's like to have that kind of interaction, just go to crowdyclass.com and sign up for that free workshop. And I'm gonna have a ton of fun teaching you all about that. So I was thinking about this client that I have in my mentorship and how they show up online and the content that they create. And when I look at the content that they create, you can tell right away exactly who their perfect client is, who their perfect prospect is. It's not me, by the way, when I look at their content, I know that I'm not the right person for them. But boy, the person that, they, that is their perfect prospect, when they write, it's in the very first sentence that they're, you know, they're speaking directly to this person. And when I read about the problems and the solutions that the problems they solve and the solutions they offer, I can just feel what it might be like to be that perfect prospect and reading that content. And that's what's gonna work so very well. So if I were to give you a tip on how you can do the same thing, it would be this. When you're able to isolate the characteristics of who that perfect prospect is, I want you to observe these people and the language that they use when they're creating their content on their socials. It could be their personal content, it could be business content, it doesn't matter. Just look at the language that they use and start to integrate that language into the content that you create. Your perfect prospect has characteristics, has psychology, has psychography, has these wants, desires, fears, those things are all going to come out in the content that they create. And when you're able to identify that and use it in the content that you create in a genuine, authentic way with integrity, then you're going to be creating content that they're interested in reading. That's the biggest tip that I give you. If you'd like more tips like that, what I want you to do right now is go to proudyclass.com so that I can take you on a journey that's going to show you how to take a stranger and turn them into a client. It's a free workshop that I give. I have a, a, a motivation for doing it. I love teaching it. I love teaching that class. I do it live. You get to interact with me. And I'm also hoping that as you're working with me, you're like, oh, you know, maybe that guy is pretty cool. Maybe I would like to try out his mentorship. And uh, maybe you'll come on board as one of my mentees, or maybe you won't. Either way, it's fine with me. Just come to the class so that you can start learning and applying that stuff right away. Just go here and sign up and I will save you a seat in that class. And while what I just taught you is incredibly important in uh, attracting clients to your business, it might not be the only thing you need, which is why I'm gonna put a link right here for a video that you should watch right now. That's going to help you attract even more clients into your business. And if you click on my face, you can subscribe to my channel to get alerts every time I create content like this.